I'm Phil Bedford and welcome to the Rebel Networker. Hi, so following on from last week's show, I promised Bernie we'd be actually be speaking more about the whole concept of why corporates are missing out on a huge opportunity to generate new business. Well, fundamentally, as we said, it's a little bit of a mindset thing with corporates. A lot of individuals, when they do go networking, go and network with people who are just like them. Marketing professionals go and network with other marketing professionals. Engineers go with other engineers. And all you do is enter what we call an information network, where there's no real opportunities for business, but just the opportunities to meet people like them. In these kind of networks, jobs are the only things they're really going to get, and information. So they're missing opportunities. What we find with small business owners is they really need business, so they start to look in different areas. I've got here a little bit of a graph about how their focus tends to work. Now, with a small business, as we can see up here, this also co covers uh, freelancers, of course. They don't tend to have much money to spend getting new business. They don't have money to spend on advertising and marketing. They don't tend to have money to spend on PR. They don't tend to want to cold call because they just don't enjoy it. Where, them, where their time and money and their resources will tend to come from referrals or word of mouth. And studies have shown that 98% of businesses that are, will agree that between 70 and 90% of their business comes by referral, word of mouth, networking. When we look at corporates, things start to change because they tend to have budget. They have money to leverage all the other forms of generating new opportunities. They will have money for advertising and marketing. They will have money to spend on PR. They may have cold calling teams. But when it comes to referral, you can guarantee they'll be getting some business by referral, and from, normally from older clients. But they don't tend to record it because they have all these other areas of generating new business. The interesting thing, though, is that with any kind of business, whatever way you get your new clients, at the end of the deal are people. People mix with people. People know people. So if we can actually start to show corporates how to start to maximize the other areas of getting new business through relationships, we can actually increase the whole thing exponentially. We can start to lift all of these areas of getting new business. Across the board, they can get more clients. On our stack to Phil, we have a question from Nicoletta from Bulgaria. And Nicoletta is saying, one of the reasons she got into networking was because she hated selling. And yet she's still finding that sometimes she needs to sell. And she's finding this a bit of a quandary. Well, you know what, Nicoletta? You do still need to sell. At the end of the day, referrals is an introduction to the opportunity to do business. Once you get in to meet the client, that is when you'll be doing your consultation and there may be some level of sales required. What we find, though, is depending on how much work has been done before that introduction takes place will reduce the amount of selling that needs to take place. If it is a referral, which is just like, give them a call, there's a number, you're going to have to do a lot of selling. So I highly recommend at the end of the day that you still do get some great quality sales training because most of us still need to sell a little bit if we're trained well with referral marketing and a lot if we're not trained. 